This is my battery powered house. Also solar powered, but there's no sun out, so right now it's battery powered. Everything in here running off the batteries. And that's it right here. Alright, let's get more lighting going here. Uh, let me get more lighting. Also plug this. Nope, can't do that. Okay, we'll plug just this light into the inverter as well. One more thing. Off of battery power. Okay. There we go. Alright, so it's a thousand watt pure sine wave inverter. I have it, I've been running it for a while. Slightly warm to the touch, the fans just kicked in from thermal. They do not kick in from load, it's thermal only, at least from what I've found. The load it's saying on here is 390, but on here it's 400. That's uh, pretty accurate sometimes. Let's see, yeah, it's pretty, pretty good right now. So we got this light. That light, that light. What's that light? Let me go inside. And we got these four fluorescent lights, these three fluorescent lights, and this fridge. I had to use an extension cord because only half my house is energized with power because I am back feeding through the garage. It's fairly safe just because I have such a low power inverter, but like that light switch doesn't work because that's on the other side of the breaker panel. Let's see if the washer light works. Oh yeah. That all works. Upstairs, these lights work. Oop. Oop. Nope, nope, the one light doesn't work. But let's see, bedroom lights work. Washroom light works. Ooh, this bedroom light does not work. Okay. And there's a big freezer downstairs that is not hooked up because I can't get power to the basement because it's on the other side of the breaker. So, and now I'll show you how I did it. So a nice bright garage. It's really pulling a load off my batteries under this load. It's holding at 12.1, so that's fine under load. It'd be quite a bit higher if I took the load off. But uh, so I connect it to this heavy duty fridge cable. I put an inline breaker. I don't think that's really going to do much because I don't think this inverter can ever have enough power to trip it. But just say I accidentally turned the power on in the house and it backfed into my my inverter which I am extremely careful about I will make sure that doesn't happen but I am hoping that this would flip first either this one or the one inside the house or something before starting any fires or anything like that but anyways runs all the way into here my house is pulling 400 watts just bought this new Morning Star charge controller. Have not tried it yet. So I'm doing this experiment. I'm giving my batteries a good uh, uh, draw so they'll be nice and uh, ready for the new charge controller tomorrow morning when the sun hits. But everything seems to work great. One more thing I want to try is this this. Uh, 
garage door opener. I'm not sure if I want to do that with the fridge running because I think it may trip at least on the startup so you know I, I think I won't do it right now maybe the fridge turns off but I had the fridge off for a while while I hooked all this up and figured it out but uh, yeah seems to work pretty good I definitely do something like this in a emergency scenario uh, I guess I'll show you guys the battery bank quickly. Let's see if I can do this without screwing anything up. Let's see here. What's this? Yeah, it's got a light. There it goes. Battery bank. 55 ampere battery. 35 ampere battery. These are all 7 ampere batteries. So I have uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 7 ampere batteries and then I have uh, this is a 1 ferret uh, capacitor for starting loads and whatnot. it helps a little bit and I have uh, this is uh, I have different banks of batteries and this is a heavy duty on off switch for one bank this is a heavy duty on off switch for another bank and the third bank right here same switches in all of them I've gone up to 480 12 volts now 450 or 65 all in all I really like this inverter with all the lights and stuff in the house and then the computer on it still started up the fridge um, you're not going to be running any big power tools with it. That's what the 3000 watt version is for. But for what this thing is, it's pretty dang good. Let's see if we can get this here. 12.12. This is only showing 12 volts, but that's okay. It's probably because of the drop in the lines. Let's see a quick uh, current draw here. This thing is very inaccurate. Probably add at least another 5 amps to what it says. But it's saying 17 amps. And what's this say for amps? Three point nine. Three point eight now. So yeah, that that little clamp meter is inaccurate as can be. So okay. Still, I like it. All right, see you guys later.